a hold down man, suitcase this, my cell phone, I'ma charge it on walk with a limp, get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it, next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlift. What's up, what's up everybody, you already know k for all TV back in the building, y'all go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button off the rip, let's get to 30k, um, anyways, today I'm gonna break it down to y'all a little bit on the fact that when you are incarcerated, whether you're in uh, prison or, you know, jail, anywhere basically, inmates tell you whatever they want you to believe. They will make you feel like they was the shit on the streets and really they was a nobody. So, that's why I came up with this title, J-A-I-L, okay? Which stands for Just Another Inmate Lying, all right? You can run into someone, he'll tell you, man, yeah, on the streets, man, I was the biggest dope boy, you know what I'm saying? Boy, I got 30s. I'm sitting, I, man, I got my vehicle out there sitting on 30s. You know what I'm saying? Man, I make about 20 bands a month. Blase, squaze, boy, my name all through the streets and everything. You get out, you run into them. You, next thing you know, you see them at the bus terminal or whatnot, you know, panhandling and 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 trying to come up and, and scrounge up some change or whatnot to get them a dub rock. You know, so I just figured I'd come on here and break it down to y'all. Don't believe everything that you were told while you were incarcerated. People are going to always want you to think the highest of them. And nine times out of ten, it'd be straight bullshit that they tell you about they self. Okay? Me, I was never one of them types when I was locked up that would even brag on who I was on the streets. You see what I'm saying? People knew. You know, like I... It spoke for itself. You get what I'm saying? People would come there that knew me from different camps or that was in school with me before or that knew me when I was younger in my neighborhood or who was from Broward County, who's been to the county with me. And they all knew everywhere I went, I was a playmaker. I never had to really speak on that. But like I said, just another inmate lying is the main thing that you're going to run into when you're locked up. All right. You can't always believe what you hear, you know. Um, then again, you can't always judge a book by its cover because you might see someone in there that looks like a nobody, acts like a nobody, doesn't brag that there's somebody or nothing like that. And really they be that dude on the streets. You see what I'm saying? So the two ways you look at the word jail is just another inmate lying and just ask I'll lie. Okay. You can ask that man. You, you could, you could, you could say, man, damn, bro, I heard you had a, a, a purple candy paint charger out there. And he'll be like, yeah, bro, but I got rid of that shit. But now I got a candy green one. You know, like they will, they will tell you anything because you don't know them and they don't know you. So they can sell you whatever story they want to sell you. Okay. Um, one time I ran across this dude. You know, we ended up playing spades together in the county jail. And um, he's sitting there talking about. He top dog on the streets. Everybody know him. Boy, my, my. You feel me? My, my, my cousin, old man, he the biggest plug in the streets. You know, everywhere I go, bitch, I keep it on me. Blase Squazzy, you know, acting like he was top dog. And where it was is we was in a quad, you know, a dorm where there was only like, I say 75, 80 inmates, you know. But um, eventually someone came from his neighborhood, you know. And when they came from his neighborhood or whatnot, they got put in the quad right next door. So uh, every time they call child, we go to child, that dude over there will be like, he'd be calling him by a totally different name. Like, Chuck, what up, Chuck? Chuck, what's happening? What's happening, Chuck? And then he would act like he don't hear him. And he'd, and then the dude be like, Chuck, I know you hear me, bitch. I know you hear me, Chuck. I know you hear me. You feel me? Shit like that. And then this is a dude that's like, literally was putting on for the whole quad, you know, like walked around like his shit ain't stink, like... Like he was the top dog on the streets and you feel me? People people trusted his word so good that he could go up to people and be like, hey, babe, let me hold like $5 till Monday. Let me hold 10 bucks. You know, and people would bless it to him because they felt like he was a somebody. You feel me? Well, long story short, I ended up going to court in a couple weeks, you know, because I was in the county waiting to be sentenced. And I ran into that same dude. He had the same judge as me. We was in the same holding cell waiting to be, you know, waiting for our court date or whatnot while we was in the holding cell waiting. And um, he like, oh, bro, da, da, da. he's like, oh, you over there on uh side one. I said, yeah, yeah. He like, he like, hey, bro, do me a favor, bitch. I got my, uh, my dog Chuck over there. He like, he the one with the tall fro. He got a tall afro. He got the space between the teeth. I said, yeah, yeah, I know who you talking about, but they don't call him Chuck, though. He like, nah. I said, nah. I said, they call him uh, some other shit. I don't remember right now. But 
He was like, damn. I said, I said, wow, what's up with him, though? Boy, I heard he had it on the streets. He said, Chuck? Chuck had it on the street? What, 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 what Chuck you talking about? And then I was like, what you mean? The one that I seen you trying to holler at him the other day. Talking about Chuck, I know you hear me. He's like, yeah. And then he told me that he was his main custo on the streets. He was a smoker. He was a main custo. Like he was, he, he, he like, he said that, man, he always at the corner store, standing out front of the corner store. He was always out there, you know, panhandling, asking people for change, this, that, this, that. He said, man, and then come to find out that bro wasn't even in there for what he said he was in there for. He was saying that he, he had no bond. He couldn't bond out. This and that, this and that. And then come to find out that man was in there only on a, on, only on a hundred dollar bond. It was a hundred dollar bond. You know what I'm saying? And he told a lot of people, like, once they confronted him about it, he told a lot of people, you know, that he didn't want to bond out or nothing because he was innocent. He like, man, I ain't taking time, serve. I'm innocent, bro. I'm innocent. Blase Squad, I don't want that on my record. I don't want that on my record. Come to find out, he couldn't bond out. He had no one that could put up a petty hundred dollars for him. <laughs> you know, so, like I said... Just another inmate lying. They will tell you anything to make you feel like you can trust them. Like what they're saying is the truth. You know, they always want you to think highly of them. It doesn't matter what it's about. They will always say, oh, yeah, on the streets, you know, or, oh, yeah, when I was out there, this, you know. So you got to just, you know, don't fall for shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And don't believe everything you hear, good or bad. You know, you might hear from someone, oh, there's one dude named such and such, you feel me? Oh, from my hood, bah, 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 talking shit about someone on the whole other side of the compound. He might be like, yeah, bro, down there, man, a, a lame on the streets, bro. Bah, 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 and start breaking it down. Next thing you know, you find out, bro, down there, after this one leave, this one come back, he gets shut down to your dorm or something. Y'all never know the coincidence of how you'll meet up with the same person that the other person was talking about. And then you'll find out that dude that was talking was the nobody Bro, right here, don't whip the photo album out, showed it all, show it like you like you know, and start breaking it down. And then he's a somebody. This person was a nobody. You see, so you can't believe the good or the bads about other people. You know, you basically just keep it real amongst yourself. You know, you know, don't ever be in there misleading or telling a fake story about yourself or whatnot, or just to be cool and shit like that. You know, just ask our lie is what jail means. You know, so like literally, I could be like. So, boy, you was out there, you, you know what I'm saying? You had all them females lined up, I heard. Boy, I heard they was all on your trail. He'd be like, what? Yeah, bro, you already know, boy. Man, I had them all on my trail. Bitch, I'm out there, boy. I'm talking about I'm running through like four of them a week, boy. Like, you know, they're going to tell you whatever it is until that person knows them or is from the same area as them, comes into that quad or hits that camp, and then you're going to see their whole mood swings change, and they act totally different. So never believe everything you hear when you're locked up. Because you're going to come across some fibbing ass individuals. Everybody lies, you know, like, you know, they throw, whether it's they little lies or big lies. You get what I'm saying? But you have the ones that lie so much that they don't know how to not lie now. They done turned such a little lie into a big lie. So they're going to, they, they can't turn back and they don't remember what they told you. So they're going to just keep going. That's when you catch a lot of people like... I learned this from experience throughout my bid in the Department of Corrections down here in Florida. You would catch people in lies. Like if you, you'll be vibing with them and shit. Y'all be playing spades. Y'all go to chopping it up. Y'all are cooking a meal or whatever it may be. And bro, I'll tell you one thing about him and this and that. He'll break it down. Tell you a story about when he was in the trap and him and the other nigga on the other side of the compound got into it on the streets. Blase, squad, this and this and that. And then next thing you know, you ain't thinking nothing of it. You just taking his advice. I mean, his word. And you're just, you're just feeding off of what he's telling you. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, a couple months later, or, you know what I'm saying? That shit get brought up again. Y'all go to talk about it and shit like that. And he'll tell you a totally different story than he told you the first time. You see what I'm saying? So they just, there's a lot of liars, you know, which, I mean, don't get me wrong. Nobody wants people to, you know, know them in prison. You know, nobody wants to put the real them out there like that. Nobody wants to open up, you know, no one wants to open up and let these people in here know you, you know, like these ain't my dogs. I don't know these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So they seem to build a fake ego and then 
you know, and then that shit catches up with him a lot of times, you know, like one dude might get shipped from one camp to another camp and he'll land at that camp and this is a pie camp. This camp ain't really rocking like it was at his last camp. So he'll go around, start talking about he got shipped from that last camp because he, he was the plug on cell phones and this and that, blase squase, and he, you know, or he, or he, or he got caught smashing one of the female CEOs or you never know what it is. Talking about he was the one bringing all that sack in or whatever at his last camp. And then, you know, he get a little name for himself and shit like that. People be like, boy, you ain't hear about him when he was at, what's it called, boy? It'll be word of mouth. It'll be people amongst them in that camp spreading the word of what he said to where eventually when people hear it, they're going to say, boy, I heard that bro was doing his thing at uh, his last camp, you know, and that don't even be the cause. He just spread that rumor about himself. Now, some people come on over to this camp from his last camp and you find out bro was a straight twack head. He smoked Tunchi. You know, no one even knew who he was. He didn't even have a name on the pound. No one even remembers him. You know, or or we seen him a couple times twack out. That's the dude that twacked out in G Dorm or you know shit like that. You know, they tell they tell fake shit because if you're on a compound making plays with cell phones, tunes or whatever it is you may be doing and you get shipped to another camp, your name's still going to be heard about at that camp. And then when the people come from that same camp you came from to the camp you were at now, there should be no reason they're like, nah, I ain't never heard of bro. I ain't see, I ain't this and that. I ain't, you feel me? Because if you're making plays with cell phones, it's hard to keep it quiet. If you're doing your thing with Tunchi, it's hard to keep it quiet. That shit spreads like wildflowers amongst the compound. So if you was doing something at that camp, when someone comes from that same camp that you was just at, they gonna remember you off of them. They gonna know, like, yeah, bro, did his thing over there. You know, me, personally, I got spoke about good stories about me from other people. I didn't even have to say shit to no one. I I landed at DeSoto and a bunch of people were like, boy, boy, I heard about you at Charlotte, boy, da, 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 da. You feel me, boy, at Charlotte, you was doing your thing, bitch. I didn't know the deal. You know, like, people would speak about me in a good way. You feel me? I ain't gotta sit there and lie and tell lies. I would never want... To look like someone or something I ain't. There's no reason to put yourself out there to want to be known as the shit and the top dog if you ain't really the shit or the top dog. That's simple. So like I said, the name of the title of this video is J-A-I-L, which spells the word jail. Just another inmate lying and just ask I lie. Don't believe everything you hear when you're locked up. You know, and... Same thing with people on the streets. They lie, but not as much as people when they're locked up. When they're locked up, they will tell your ass they had a damn house on the streets with 12 bedrooms with 15 vehicles. Shit that you know is unreal. You come to find out, man, they ain't never even had a house. You know? they they You find out they've been living in hotels. That's why they had a house with so many damn rooms. They live in a hotel. You know, shit like that. So... You know, never judge a book by its cover and never believe everything that you hear. You feel me? This k for all TV. Um, I got that new airlifted merch dropping soon. I appreciate all everybody rocking with me. I'm going to start trying to drop new videos every day. I'm going to try to give y'all five videos a week, maybe. I'm going to try to give y'all Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to see if I can drop it like that. If not, I might space it out a day or whatnot. But, um... Y'all just, you know, y'all bear with me or whatnot. And I appreciate everyone that's been rocking with me. Y'all already know this K-Frog.